The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by Lisa R. Baker. Starting a new job can be stressful and even more stressful when it's a new city and one stress is finding a place to live. So here to take the stress off and find a new home is Lisa R. Baker, a realtor, who's saying that, listen, stress is a lot when it comes to finding a house, especially in a new city, but let's talk about things that people can do for selling and buying their homes when they have to move. Right. Well, you know, basically any move is a relocation, but if you're moving with your company, whether it's a new company bringing you out here for a job or maybe a job transfer, that becomes a corporate relocation. And that's a very different transaction. There's a lot of regulations, procedures, processes that you have to have to follow to make sure that the benefits package is not compromised. Um, but really anybody doing a move can still benefit from the knowledge that I have as a relocation agent with their own personal relocation. Okay, so that's just interesting right there. You said there are some guidelines for when a corporation relocates you for buying a home and stuff? Absolutely. I never knew that. Yeah, they will, uh, they will issue a benefits package and that can vary depending on the employer, what they've selected as your options. And there are, of course, benefit caps. There are timelines that need to be, uh, you know, adhered to. Um, and especially with sellers, you have a whole set of documents that are in addition to our regular sales agreements, uh, because that if you don't do that properly, you can in incur big tax liability for for sellers with their benefits, and yeah. you definitely don't want to do that. Okay, okay, so let me ask you a question here, and that would be: I'm moving to Phoenix. I'm relocating with a corporation. I found a house. We're in the process of getting it, and then all of a sudden I lose that job or the company goes under. Is there guidelines for that and stuff? Um, yeah, that's actually going to be there. There's going to be uh, part of that handled through the relocation company. The relocation company side with the uh, the company oh, that's right. moving you. Yeah, there's there's going to be for that. And, wow. you know, there are there will be things that you can do with that contract. If, yeah, if you lose that employment, then, you know, you're obviously not going to qualify. And right. And it's just something that, you know, we, you know, we see very rarely, but you know, it, I'm sure it can happen. And yeah. it does, you know, we, we, we can handle that. Yeah, and that's the worst thing I'm thinking. But right. okay, so when it goes into these contracts, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm never, I'm not a realtor. You know all the regulations. That's why they need to sit with you to, to know what goes on, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there are different types of benefit packages that your employer will select. And so I need to be familiar with those packages. And yeah, being a relocation agent is really, um, it requires uh, an additional set of skills and knowledge and education. There are certifications we have to get. Um, we have to be knowledgeable, not just about the area, but of uh, what those packages are and how we do what we do. Um, we're selected by our brokerages to be on the relocation team. So not every agent is actually even eligible to work with relocation. Wow, okay, so I'm selling a home. I can come to you would that be the smart thing to do because you know that we're growing here in this you know state we have new companies coming Intel Google all this and everything like that so I'm looking to sell would it be smart to come to you because people are looking for homes to relocate yeah absolutely um, when I do a sales relocation uh, we do an extensive marketing analysis not only of the home and even like does it need to be painted does it need to be staged but also the surrounding area because we are looking to get that you know maximum return for minimum market time because now they are moving to a different market where they're in temporary housing or maybe they would get one trip out to find their next home so we need to get that get that moving and make sure that we are compliant with tax laws again so we don't incur any additional liability there's a you know they have these short timelines your temporary housing is only so far um, you get one trip out usually and so we have to get all the information in advance make things happen and, and, and keep that moving oh my gosh this is so incredible I, I never even thought about a relocation team that they would have i thought it's just a realtor so i know we're wrapping up but i just want to touch on one thing really quick we had this new thing happen in real estate you're saying please come see you because you're here to help them understand a little more, especially even if re relocating too, right? Right, absolutely. The new regulations, yep, um, are in effect. And, and basically, buyers are required to sign an employment agreement with an agent before they can view any properties at all. Now, that can be an exclusive employment agreement or not. Um, you know, there, there are different things. Everything is negotiable, um, but just know that until a door is opened, you know, it has to be signed. And agents, and it will line out the details of your, your agency to them, what you'll be doing for them, and, and how the buyer's agent is compensated. They can still certainly come from the seller and the seller's brokerage, but the buyer is just now required to take a more active role in that process. Oh my gosh, we gotta have you back, Lisa. I love it. We have to have you back, because that is something that people are trying to understand right now, which is great. So, you want more information about Elisa R. Baker and relocating, 
you can check her out on her website or you can head over to the cw7az.com. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by Lisa R. Baker. All right, come on back and see what Wally's driving in this weekend's Wally's Weekend Drive. Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Ken from Gerber Injury Law. Been injured? You need us right now. Insurance companies are not your friend. Gerber Injury Law will get you the compensation you deserve. Call us now. We'll fight for you. At Applegate Home Buyers, we are rewriting the rules of cash home buying. Our local family owned business wants to buy your house and get you the most cash possible. Say goodbye to low ball offers and say hello to multiple options customized to you. Like our fix to sell program. Where we bring the cash and the crews to fix up your home. We can buy your house for cash today or fix it up with you, whichever will get you the most money. Call Applegate Home Buyers. So much more than just a cash offer. You have options. Empire's quality and customer service were absolutely amazing. The installers were so conscientious. I have and I will continue to recommend Empire. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. This is no time for unexpected surprises. Time to get clear. Gettle's plumbing experts are there to quickly identify stubborn clogs and get your drains flowing smoothly. Gettle, we do things the right way, not the easy way. When you need inspiration, it's worth shopping fries, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices with savings beyond low prices. Savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. More savings and more inspiring flavors make fries worth it every time. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Fries, fresh for everyone. Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Ken from Gerber Injury Law. If you've been injured in an accident, you need to take action now. Don't let the insurance companies run you over. Call the law offices of Gerber Injury Law. We will get you the compensation you deserve. The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by Superstition Springs Lexus. Well, hi, and welcome to another one of Wally's Weekend Drive. Man, I have made my way back out here to Superstition Springs Lexus. Welcome back. Hey, man, I'll tell yeah. you, Rashad Korea right here, one of the main boys with the Joys toy out here. This is the internet manager right here, guys. So when you go online to check these cars out, if you call in, you're going to be talking to Rashad probably right there. Now, Rashad, what's going on out here, man? You got, you know, you got a bunch of remodel yeah. going on. You got all kinds of stuff. Well, our new remodel and our golden opportunity, uh, one of the best times to purchase electric vehicle. We got a ton of incentives, great rebates. There you go. So come on out here and make sure and ask for either Rashad or yes, Brent. Yes, come right? see me or Brent. Absolutely. Yeah, amen. Now, you also have Lexus Electrified going on because we got a hybrid here we're going to be talking we about today. Yes. Explain that to me. So Lexus is introducing its fully electric vehicles, its plug-in electric vehicles, and then also our hybrids. That's right. I'm really a hybrid fan here. And let's go talk right now about this 2024 Lexus NX350H Luxury. Yes. Now, first of all, all Lex Lexuses are luxury, man. What are they trying to kid? That is correct. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. But if you look at this, okay, <laughs> you, you can see they've actually redone uh, the actual grill here a little yes. bit. It's still yes. got the basic shape, but they've re, you know, redesigned the inside. I'm really liking it. And if you look here, you got your eyebrows and it's, six headlights. Yes, triple beam headlamps. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, it really works good. But what I was saying before, these cornering lights down here, yeah. I'll tell you what, they saved me. You know, I, mm -hmm. I'm getting home after dark and driveway's a little tight and I got cactus on both sides yes. so I don't have a whole lot of room to maneuver in there so that was really a big deal now if you look underneath the hood that's even a bigger deal yeah. the, this thing is only a two and a half liter four-cylinder motor with a hybrid right? right right okay making 240 combined horsepower and 317 foot-pounds of torque that is correct now that is I'll tell you what, what that means, that means it's quick. Yes. It's not super fast, but it is quick. It will yeah. move, it yes. will move. Yeah, all wheel drive, mm -hmm. you know, running through a 20 inch uh, wheels right here, alloy yep. wheels that are really cool looking with an eight speed transmission inside. Yes. Now, one thing that I noticed in here, probably more than anything, was the interior. 
Beautiful interior. Man, yeah, yeah, okay, so tell me about that interior because this thing is really nice and it's comfortable. Well, as you said, this is our luxury package. Um, so it's gonna have that beautiful stitching that matches the car, the cadmium orange stitching. Right. Um, it comes with your leather seating, uh, the Chevron inspired trim in there as well. Uh, also the screen, tell me about the screen in the middle there. A little yeah, bit. so you get a 14 inch touch screen display there. Um, it's gonna incorporate everything uh, from your different drive modes. We talked about it a little bit. Yes. Um, your navigation, um, your Apple CarPlay, your Android Auto, that's all wireless as well on the luxury model. Pretty yeah. cool setup. Yeah, now, now for sure. Now one thing, you know, it is a hybrid, okay, mm -hmm. so I'm getting about 34 miles to the gallon combined. Yes. Um, I haven't found the eco mode yet. It's, it's in the screen. <laughs> that's what we were it. Yeah, I'll that's what we were talking it. about. So in, in normal, regular mode mm -hmm. with a normal, regular driver, this time I've actually not floored it too many times. Right. I'm getting 34 miles to the gallon for all-wheel uh, all wheel drive SUV. Yes, that's unheard, yes that's unheard of. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So the Lexus didn't forget about the back seat either. You know, if you look back here, I so the know. Back seats are actually heated too, right? Yes, back seats are heated. Um, you got USB ports back there as well, which comes in handy for the passengers. Yes, yeah, I saw two USB Cs yes. and a 12 volt uh, power point, so anybody can plug in their device or something if they got a video Absolutely. device or something they're yeah. streaming out, yeah. maybe. Um, but one thing you don't need to worry about is right here where the gas is, because you're not going to be seeing <laughs> that very right? Long. Hey, yeah, you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to get a little bit better gas mileage. You know, I mean, right now I've burned about a half a tank, mm -hmm. but that's because I'm using a lot of the hybrid power. Right. Uh, right. So that's pretty good. So if you look underneath, here normally where you might find a spare tire well this is where the battery goes back here so you do have a little bit of extra room back here mm -hmm. uh, if you need to stash some goodies or something right there that would Correct. be a great place to do it and it is a what 60 40 split seat there if you do want to put it down a little bit right that is correct that yeah. is correct yeah and it's automatic as well on the luxury model yeah <laughs> there, there you go msrp on this is fifty six thousand eight hundred and fifty five dollars that's correct now, now Again, what are the two uh, programs you got going on right we now? We have our golden opportunity going on right now. An excellent time to get into a Lexus. So don't worry about the price, folks. We'll take care of you. There you go. Well, you heard it. Don't worry about the price. I'm liking that right there. And don't forget, swing on out here. Superstition yes. Springs Lexus. They're located just off the 60 of Superstition Springs Boulevard. You can't miss them. They're right there. Come out and see Rashad. If you don't like what Rashad says, go talk to Brent, right? Go talk to the boss. That's yeah, right. Yeah, go talk to the boss. He'll, and remember, Rashad said, don't worry about the price. That's the easy part. <laughs> The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by Superstition Springs Lexus.